Hello students, today we are going to learn some to eight terms of an AP. Then we will discuss about properties of an AP and arithmetic means. Okay. So first we have derived, we have to derive sum to n terms of an AP. Okay. So sum of n terms of an AP. We denote it as S n. Okay. S n means sum of n terms of an AP. Okay. So here. A one, A two, up to A n. These are n terms of an AP. Okay. Then we have to find sum of n terms of an AP. So we know that A one we have to represent generally as a A. Okay. A two that is a A plus B. A three that is a A plus two D, and so on. And nth term or general term we denote or we write in the form a plus n minus 1 into d okay so if we have to find sn that is a sn is equal to a1 plus a2 plus a3 and so on up to a okay so a1 that is a a plus a2 that is a a plus d A three, A plus two D plus and so on. A n that is A plus n minus one into D. Okay. So we will get S n is equal to this. Here I am giving this equation as a first equation. Now we have to write this in reverse order. So S n we can write A plus n minus one D. That is the first term. Then here that is a plus. So this term has a n minus one, n minus one third term. So this we can write a plus n minus two d plus and so on. Then this is a plus d, and last term is a. Okay. Now if we add this. This equation two I am giving. So if we add one and two, so adding one and two, so if we add term wise, so S N plus S N that is a two S N. Now if we see a a plus a plus n minus one d, so that is a plus a that is two a, so two a plus n minus one into d plus a plus d. Plus a plus n minus two into d. So if we add this, a plus d and a plus n minus two d. So we will get again a plus a that is a two a plus. Now here one d is there, here minus two is there, minus two d is there. So if we subtract that minus two d plus one d, that is a minus one d. So we will get again n minus one into d. So similarly, if we add this, we will get last term also a plus. This a plus n minus one d, two a plus n minus one into d. Okay. Now these n terms are there, so we will get this term n times. So this is n times. So if we get this terms n times, so we can write addition of same term n times. So we can write n into this term, two a plus n minus one into d. Okay, and if we shift this to here, so S n is equal to two S n is equal to this. So S n is equal to n by two two a plus n minus one into d. Okay, so we will get formula sum of n terms of an AP is equal to n by two two a plus n minus one into d. Now we have to derive another formula by using this formula. Okay, now we have this formula. S n is equal to n by two two a plus n minus one d. Okay, so we can write this two a as a plus a plus this term n minus one into d 
okay so n by 2 this a as it is a plus n minus 1 divides this term we can write as a last term okay or we can write an also this is an so n by 2 an we can write a plus l l is a last term okay so from this formula we will get we we got this another formula that is sn is equal to n by 2 a plus l that is n by 2 first term plus last term okay so by using this discussion we have one remark so if we have to find nth term if you have to find nth term by using sn means if sn is given and if you have to find nth term or general term we can use this formula sn minus s of n minus 1 okay that is the sum of n terms minus sum of n minus 1 terms okay so suppose terms are like this way 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay and if we find sum of six terms and if we subtract from sum of six terms if we subtract sum of five terms this sum then automatically we will get a6 so same we have to use here if you have to find nth term then sum of n terms minus sum of n minus 1 terms okay so this is remark or we have to use this as a formula directly if you have to find nth term and if sum of n terms is given then first you have to find sum of n minus 1 term and then sn minus sn minus 1 we we will get nth term okay now we will take examples based on this formula okay so now we have three formulas sn is equal to n by 2 2a plus n minus 1d sn is equal to n by 2 first term plus last term and an is equal to sn minus sn minus 1 okay first example is find the sum of first 20 terms of the ap that is 1 4 7 10 and so on okay so this is ap so here what is given a is equal to given 1 n is equal to 20 d is equal to 4 minus 1 that is 3 okay and we have to find the sum of first 20 terms of an ap so we know that formula sn is equal to n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 into d okay so s 20 because value of n is 20 so 20 by 2 2a that is 1 plus n minus 1 so 20 minus 1 into d d is a 3 so 20 by 2 that is 10 2 into 1 2 20 minus 1 19 into 3 so 10 into 2 plus 19 threes are 57 so 10 into 57 plus 2 that is a 59 10 into 59 is equal to 590 so sum of first 20 terms of an ap that is a 590 okay now we will take second example second example is find the sum of all three digit natural numbers which are divisible by 7 okay so first we have to find how many terms are there okay so we know that first three digit natural number which is divisible by 7 is 105 okay and then 112 and so on and last number is 994 okay so now how we find this numbers 105 and 994 We have to divide hundred by seven. If we divide hundred by seven, remainder is two. That is, a, if we subtract two from hundred, we will get ninety-eight. So ninety-eight is the last two-digit number which is divisible by seven. So if we add seven in ninety-eight, we will get hundred and five. That is the first number which is divisible by seven. 
and last number 994 that is if we divide 1000 by 7 then we will get remainder is 6 ok so if we subtract 6 from 1000 we will get number is 990 ok now we have to use formula a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 d and first we have to find how many terms are there so a n is 994 a is 105 plus n minus 1 and d is 7 so 994 minus 105 is equal to n minus 1 into 7 so if we subtract this we will get this is 14 minus 5 9 then 8 889 ok so n minus 1 into 7 is equal to 889 if you divide it by 7 7 ones are 7 1 remain 18 7 twos are 14 4 remain 14 so n minus 1 is equal to 127 n is equal to 128 so number of term is 128 now we have to find sn so sn is equal to now I am using second formula because I know first term and last term so Sn is equal to n by 2 a plus l ok so S128 is equal to 128 by 2 first term is 105 and last term is 994 ok so 128 by 2 if we add this 5 plus 4 is 9 9 and this is 1 ok so 128 by 2 this is 2 6 0 by 2 4 0 8 ok so if you multiply this then we will get answer that is the sum of 128 terms ok now I am not doing this but it is just my multiplication of this 64 and 1099 ok so if you multiply this you will get answer that is the sum of 128 terms ok so these are this is the sum which is 3 digit numbers which is divisible by 7 which are divisible by 7 ok now we will take third example third example is if the sum of n terms of an AP is 3n square plus 5 and its m term is 164 find the value of m ok so here it Sn is given, Sn is equal to 3n square plus 5n. Okay, so by using this Sn, we have to find S of n minus 1. So how we find this? Replace n by n minus 1. So here 3 into n minus 1 bracket square plus 5 into n minus 1. Okay, so 3 into n minus 1 bracket square that is n square minus 2n plus 1 plus 5n minus 5 so 3n square minus 6n plus 3 plus 5n minus 5 so if you simplify this 3n square minus 6n plus 5n that is minus n 3 minus 5 that is a minus 2 ok so if we find n the term that is an is equal to we know that formula Sn minus Sn minus 1. So Sn is 3n square plus 5n minus S of n minus 1 that is 3n square minus n minus 2. Okay. So if you simplify this 3n square plus 5n minus 3n square plus n plus 2. This will get cancelled. 5n plus n 6n plus 2. So a n is equal to 6 n plus 2. Now here n the term is given. So if we replace n by m, we will get n the term. So a m is equal to 6 m plus 2. And this m the term is given 164. So 164 is equal to 6 m plus 2. So if we subtract this 2 here, 164 minus 2, 162 is equal to 6 m. So m is equal to 162 by 6 that is a 6 2 are 12 42 6 7 zero. ok so m is equal to 27 so 27 the term is a 164 ok understand this one now we will take 
next point that is the properties of an AP. Point is properties of an AP. Okay, here I have written four properties. Okay, some more are there. So first we will discuss this four properties. Okay, so first one is if a constant is added or subtracted from each term of an AP, then the resulting sequence is also an AP. Okay. So, if suppose I am taking this AP 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and so on, okay, and if I am subtracting 1 from each term, so if I am subtracting 1 from each term, I will get AP is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and so on, okay. So, if I am subtracting 1, from each term I will get another sequence that is also an A okay or if we add any non-zero any constant okay either it is zero then also we will get same AP okay so if we add any constant then resulting sequence that is also an A so this is first property okay so if we add or subtract any constant okay or any number in ap then resulting sequence is also an ap okay second property is if each term of given ap is multiplied or divided by non zero constant k then the resulting sequence is also an ap with common difference k into d or t by k where d is the common difference of given AP, okay? Means here if we multiply or divided by non-zero constant, okay? Why it is given non-zero? Because we cannot divide any number by zero. So here we have to take non-zero constant k and if we multiply or divide to a given AP, then the resulting AP, the resulting sequence that is also an AP, okay? If I am taking the same example 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and so on and if I am dividing this number by 2 so I will get AP is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so on ok so this sequence is also an AP ok if I am multiplying by 1 or 2 so if I am multiplying by 2 then that is a 4, 8, 12, 16 and so on ok so this is also an AP ok so if we multiply or divided by non zero constant k then that is also an AP and common difference is k into d ok or d by k so k into d means here d is 2 but if you multiply by 2 common difference is here 4 that is k into d or here we can check this common difference is 1 that is a d by k here common difference is 2 so 2 here I am dividing by 2 so 2 by 2 that is a 1 so here common difference is 1 ok so this is second property third property is an infinite AP the sum of the terms equidistant from the beginning and the n is always same and is equal to the sum of the first and last ok so if I am considering this AP 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11 ok only finite terms I am considering ok now if I am taking terms which are equidistant from beginning and end so if I am taking suppose second term from beginning and second term from end so what is the sum of these two terms so that is 3 plus 9 is 12 ok so this sum that is equal to sum of the first sum and last sum so 1 plus 11 that is a 12 again 5 plus 7 that is a third term from the beginning and third term from the end sum is equal and which is equal to the sum of first term and last sum ok so this is third property Four properties, three numbers A, B, C are in A, B. If and only if, this is a symbol of if and only if, 
is equal to two b is equal to a plus c. Okay. So if three numbers a, b, c are in a, b means difference between a and b and difference between b and c that is equal. Okay. So b minus a is equal to c minus b minus b if we shift here that is a b plus b so two b and minus a if we shift here that is equal to a plus c. Okay. So if three terms are in a, b. Two times middle term is equal to first term plus last term, or we can say that b is the arithmetic mean of a and c. Okay, so these are four properties. Now we will discuss another four properties. Next properties, next four properties are. Uh, so here are four properties I have written. So we will discuss one more property. So fifth one is the sequence is an A B if its if and only if its nth term is linear expression in L that is if nth term is given A N plus B where A and B are constants in such a case the coefficient of N in A N is the common difference of an A B okay <coughs> so suppose if nth term is given in linear expression of N So suppose nth term is given like this way, 3n plus 4. Okay. So if nth term is given 3n plus 4, then this sequence is an AB. Okay. And coefficient of n. So here coefficient of n is 3. So that is the common difference of an AB. Okay. So this is fifth property. So if nth term is given in linear expression of n, that is in this form, an plus b, then this is an AB. And coefficient of n that is a common difference of an AB. Okay, so same property is here, but if S n is given, so what is property is here? A sequence is an AB if and only if the sum of its first n terms is of the form a n square plus b n, where a and b are constants and independent of n. Okay, means here in a and b n is not there. In such a case. The common difference is a 2a. Okay, so that is an AB, and common difference is 2a. So if S n given, sum of n terms is given. Suppose 3n square plus 5. Okay, so if 5 is there, so if S n is given in this form, 3n square plus 5n, then that sequence is an AB, and Coefficient of n square that is a three. So twice the coefficient of n square is the common difference of an AB. So here common difference of an AB is two into three. That is a six. Okay. So you can use directly this property. If suppose S n is given and if you have to find common difference and AB, so You can find directly if S n is 3 n square plus 5 n, then common difference is twice the coefficient of n square. So 2 into 3 that is a 6. So you can write directly common difference is 6. Okay. So this is sixth one property. Seventh one is if the terms of an AP are chosen at regular intervals, then that terms also form an AP. So suppose if I am taking This is the one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, and so on. And if I'm choosing terms which are at even places, okay? So that is three, seven, eleven, and so on. Okay, so three, seven, eleven, that is also form an A P. Okay, so that is seven property and eight property is if A N A N plus one and A N plus two. Okay, means n term, n plus one term, and n plus two term are three consecutive terms of an AP. Then, for any three consecutive terms of an AP, we can use this property. So, two times middle term is equal to first term plus third term. Okay. So, understand these properties. Now, we will see examples based on this. First question is if ABC are in AP. Prove that the following are also in AB. Okay, so in that first one is one by BC, one by C, and one by AB. 
we are show that these terms are also in ab okay so we know that if abc are in ab abc are in ab so if three terms are in ab we can write 2b is equal to a plus c okay now if we show that these three terms are in ab then we have to show that two times middle term is equal to first term plus third term okay so i am writing so to show 1 by bc 1 by ca 1 by ab are in ab that is two times middle term so 2 by ca is equal to 1 by bc plus 1 by ab okay now we have to show that lhs and rhs equal so lhs that is already 2 ca and taking rhs 2 by ca so i am taking rhs that is 1 by bc plus 1 by ab okay now from this i can take 1 by b common so what is remain 1 by c plus 1 by a now 1 by b into 1 by c plus 1 by it will make same denominator a plus c divided by ac so 1 by b into a plus c that is 2b okay so we can use this property here so a plus c is equal to 2b because here a b c are in ab so a plus c we can substitute as a 2b upon ac so b will get cancel what is remain 2 divided by ac so that is a lhs so lhs and rhs equal so we can say that 1 by bc 1 by ca and 1 by ab are in ab okay similarly we can show this one b plus c c plus a and a plus b okay so again abc are in ab so if abc are in ab 2b is equal to a plus c we have to show that these terms are in ab so to show b plus c c plus a a plus b are in ab so that is what we have to show two times c plus a is equal to b plus c plus a plus b okay so lhs that is the two times c plus a okay now c plus a that is 2b so 2 into 2b that is 4b now rhs is equal to b plus c plus a plus b okay now b plus b is 2b and a plus c so again a plus c we can substitute as a 2b so 2b plus 2b that is a 4b so lhs is equal to rhs okay so we can say that b plus c c plus a and a plus b are a b okay now we will take next point that is a arithmetic mean okay next point is insertion of arithmetic means okay so if we have insert only one arithmetic mean so suppose three terms a this capital a and b are in ap okay so we can see that this a is the arithmetic mean arithmetic mean of a and b okay so that is a is arithmetic mean of a and b means a we can write a plus b upon 2 okay so this is only one arithmetic mean between a and b if we have to insert n arithmetic means between a and b so how we insert this if a1 a2 a3 up to a n are n quantities and if we have to insert this quantities 
इन ए एंड बी ओके सो ए ए वन ए टू ए थ्री अप टू ए एन एंड बी सो इफ दिस सीक्वेंस इज एन ए बी सो सी वन सेकेंड इफ दिस सीक्वेंस इज एन ए बी देन वी कैन से दैट दीज एन क्वॉंटिटीज ए वन ए टू ए थ्री अप टू एन दीज एन क्वॉंटिटीज वी कैन से दैट एरेथमेटिक मीन्स बिटवीन ए एंड बी ओके सो ए वन ए टू ए थ्री अप टू एन आर एरेथमेटिक मीन्स बिटवीन ए एंड बी ओके नाउ वी विल सी हाउ टू इंसर्ट दीज एरेथमेटिक मीन्स बिटवीन ए एंड बी ओके सो दिस इज ए पी a a1 a2 a3 up to a n and b if we will get this is an ap then we can say that this a1 a2 a3 up to a n are the arithmetic means between a and b okay now we will see how to insert this arithmetic means okay so insertion of n arithmetic means between a and b okay so now we understand this if you have insert this arithmetic means we will get means we have to form this an ap so this a a1 a2 a3 up to a n and b is an ap So if this is an AP, now already these are n terms, okay? So this B is n plus two term, okay? That is we can write A plus n one n plus two minus one into D, okay? So that this is A plus n plus one into D, okay? So if you are to find value of D, that is a B minus A and upon n plus one is equal to D. So if we have to insert n arithmetic means between A and B, we have to first find common difference. Okay. So example is given like this way. Insert three arithmetic means. Suppose insert three arithmetic means between five and eleven. Suppose. So we have to find first. D that is B minus A upon n plus one. So n means how many arithmetic means we have to insert. So if in example it is given insert three arithmetic means so n is equal to three and B and A are the terms which are given. So first we have to find D and A that is the first term already given. So we can insert these terms or these arithmetic means. Okay. So we will get a one. So here a one is the second term. So a one we will get a plus d. D means this d. D minus a one n plus one. A two that is a a plus two d. Okay. So these terms, these are the arithmetic means. Okay. These are not terms means. If we are saying that, saying that nth term is A n is equal to a plus n minus one b. So a one, uh, okay. First term is a, then second term is a plus d. Okay, that is different. And these are these are the arithmetic means. So this is different. So a one is so here a one is second term. So second term we write like this so a plus d. A two is the third term here. So this a two we can write a plus two d. Okay. So these are the And arithmetic means. So, if we understand this, how to insert this? We will take example based on this. So, you will get a meaning of this. How to insert arithmetic means? Okay. First example is insert three arithmetic means between three and ninety. Okay. So, let a one, a two, a three be Three arithmetic means, okay. 
okay a dot m arithmetic means between 3 and 19 then these three are the arithmetic means between 3 and 19 means 3 a1 a2 a3 19 form and a b okay these are the arithmetic means between 3 and 19 means this is form and a b okay now we know that formula for d d is equal to d minus a that is uh, 19 minus 3 upon n plus 1 so n is 3 so 3 plus 1 okay so 19 minus 3 that is a uh, 16 3 plus 1 is 4 so 16 by 4 is 4 okay so here we will get d is 4 now a1 that is a uh, a plus d so 3 plus 4 that is a uh, 7 A2 is equal to a plus 2d, so 3 plus 2 into 4, so 3 plus 8, that is 11. And a3 is equal to a plus 3d, so 3 plus 2 into, sorry, 3 plus 3 into 4, 3 fours are 12, 12 plus 3, 15. Okay, so 7, 11, and 15 are the arithmetic means. Okay. So seven, eleven, fifteen are the arithmetic means between three and ninety. Okay, understand this one? Now we will take one more example. Okay, the example is insert four arithmetic means between four and ninety. Okay, so let A one, A two, A three, and A four are four arithmetic means between four and nineteen. Okay, so these four arithmetic means between four and nineteen means they form four A one, A two. A three, A four, and nineteen, or they then four A one, A two, A three, A four, nineteen is an A P. Okay, so if this is an A P, then D is equal to D minus A. This is D. This is A. So nineteen minus four upon n plus one. Now n means How many numbers of arithmetic means we have to insert? So here four arithmetic means we have to insert means four plus one. Nineteen minus four that is a fifteen divided by five. So it is a three. Now d is three. So a one is equal to a plus d. So four plus three that is a seven. A two is equal to a plus two d. So four plus two into three. So two three is a six. Six plus four ten. A3 is equal to a plus 3d, so 4 plus 3 into 3, so 9. 3 3 is a 9 plus 4, 13. Or you can add 3 in this number, so 7 plus 3, 10. 10 plus 3, 13. 13 plus 3. That is the next arithmetic means 16. So a4 is equal to a plus 4d, so 4 plus 4 into 3, so 4 3 is a 12 plus 4, 16. Okay, so 7, 10. Thirteen, sixteen are four arithmetic means between four and ninety. Okay, understand this one. Now in next video we will start geometric progression.